Hello everyone, happy weekend, this is Mike Padua and we're back again to our latest uh, weather analysis for today, Saturday through Monday, December 13 to 15, 2025. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. If you want to uh, view the Tagalog version, there's a link up here. And if you're watching via Facebook, just uh, visit our main page for more details to view the uh, Tagalog version. And uh, this is also uh, brought to you by uh, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested, just click on the link here. And if you're watching via Facebook, there's a link down below this video. And uh, also the local government of Naga City, headed by Honorable Mayor Leno Robredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. Well, it's just now we uh, returned to our uh, latest analysis during the past uh, few days. Uh, we're so busy uh, doing some other errands, okay? And just now, uh, we uh, return to give you another update, but uh, rest assured, we don't have any uh, tropical cyclone forming, although there are one model, but we don't uh, care about that. And we only have this uh, usual uh, northeast monsoon together with the shear line, which comes and go, affecting the eastern sections of the country and uh, let's begin now here's the uh, latest uh, graph set that we uh, created early this morning and you can uh, clearly see here the uh, uh, shear line okay all the way from here so it's affecting uh, the uh, Bicol region and uh, eastern Visayas uh, penetrating in some areas of Amblon and uh, uh, Marinduque as well so these are uh, cloudiness due to the convergence of the northeast monsoon and the easterlies, uh, weak easterlies down here. So it creates some thunderstorm activity, bringing some rain showers and uh, thunderstorms across uh, Bicol region and eastern Visayas. And this will persist for the next few days. It's come and go. Uh, later this afternoon, it will weaken. And uh, also by tomorrow, uh, it's going to be uh, okay. But on Monday and uh, Tuesday, there will be another uh, wave of shear line together with the Northeast Monsoon. And if we uh, take a look now on the uh, uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page, you can observe here the uh, shear line. Although it's currently uh, scattered and uh, there is a possibility that this shear line here over the Bicol region is somewhat diffused starting to weaken but it will again return sometime monday tuesday or wednesday so expect another uh, round of rains over the Bicol region and uh, the eastern sections of luzon as well and uh, here's the zoom in satellite animation for you to clearly see the for you to clearly see the effects of the shear line bringing some thunderstorms and rain showers across uh, Bicol region and uh, these rains are uh, around uh, light to moderate to at times heavy in some portions where intense uh, thunderstorms can uh, pass by okay and uh, so far the rest of the country will remain uh, dry with some light showers particularly over the eastern sections of uh, northern central zone because of the prevailing northeast monsoon and uh, across the uh, rest of the archipelago just light easterlies affecting Mindanao and uh, localized uh, uh, cloudiness or thunderstorms over the rest of the Visayas. Okay, and uh, let's take a look now on the uh, on the rain uh, forecast for the next five days, courtesy of uh, ECMWF via windy.com. This is the three hourly rain. So uh, as you can see here, Here's the uh, uh, prevailing uh, showers that we are experiencing right now if you are living here in the Bicol region and uh, the smaller islands south of Bicol like uh, Marinduque, Romblon, Masbate, Tikao, Burias and also Eastern Visayas as well and that's mainly due to the shear line and most likely later tonight it will weaken over the Bicol region but still affecting southern uh, uh, Samar and uh, eastern Leyte and by tomorrow, it looks like we will be return to normal conditions with a fresh breeze from the northeast monsoon. And then on Monday, there will be another uh, developing shear line over Cagayan Valley, particularly eastern Cagayan and eastern Isabella. 
including Aurora. So this is another uh, uh, shear line that is expected to form. And that shear line is likely to move uh, southward or remain stationary over Korean Valley on Tuesday. But uh, there are some parts of the shear line that uh, is expected uh, that are expected to uh, bring some rains as well here. So it's like a uh, double shear line. This is a diffused one and this is another one, a new one that may bring showers as well over the Bicol region on Tuesday, December 16. And it looks like it will strengthen through December 17, early morning. And then in the afternoon, it will uh, again uh, be along the um, northern Kesson area and the northern coastal waters of the Bicol region as uh, depicted here by the uh, ECMWF rain model. Okay, and on Thursday, it will slowly weaken, but still affecting uh, Bicol region and the northern Kesson, including uh, Polilio. So that's the shear line. It's always there. Come and go. Sometimes we are experiencing some five days of straight dry conditions. And then after five days, there will be another three to five days of effects of shear line. And then uh, it's just uh, a cycle. Okay. During this time of December until February. But uh, because of the weak La Nina that we are experiencing right now, that's the reason why we are getting above average rainfall over our region now here's the 24 hour rainfall accumulation so far the 24 hours for uh, uh, this uh, day now let's take a look at the 24 hour rainfall accumulation from windy.com via the ECMWF rain model so so far by tomorrow, Sunday, we will be experiencing uh, decreased uh, rainfall and uh, improving weather conditions over the big region. There's still some showers over the coastal waters of uh, Partido District and Eastern uh, Bigel region. And on Monday, here we go again. This is uh, another surge. This is another uh, formation of a new shear line, which I said earlier on the previous slides. And uh, this rainfall will reach 50 to more than 100 millimeters so fox living over eastern cagayan aurora eastern isabella just take all the precautions for possible flooding when we have heavy downpour from these thunderstorms generated by the shear line and on tuesday it will expand down to the eastern sections of uh, Bicol region and eastern visayas this uh, shear line together with the northeast monsoon somewhere here and then on uh, wednesday it will still uh, remain uh, stationary over the eastern sections of the Bicol region and uh, eastern Luzon from Cagayan Valley down to from the eastern sections of uh, from Cagayan down to uh, Bicol region. And then on Thursday, the shear line will uh, uh, be uh, more concentrated over the coastal waters of the Bicol region some of these rains will be uh, moving across uh, the rest of Bicol region as uh, we observe right now okay here in our uh, province okay so that's the condition of the shear line for the next five days uh, over mindoro we are uh, looking at some uh, topographic uplift of thunderstorms along the uh, eastern slopes of Mount Halcon. That's why there are heavy rainfall of up to 50 to uh, 100 millimeters. Okay, that's more of a hyper local uh, uh, weather conditions. So that's the uh, five day uh, rain forecast. We are not going to give you the more than five days since the probability is very low, highly uncertain, but we will keep you updated for the new five day forecast beginning uh, next week probably on Tuesday or Monday, we'll be giving you another update. Now let's take a look at the latest on the El Nino, La Nina Southern Oscillation. This is the latest one as of December 11, two days ago. As of this time from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, National Weather Service, it's still under La Nina advisory. So we are still having a very slight La Nina for the next uh, two weeks. 
and you can observe here on the outgoing long wave radiation anomalies that most of the radiation from the sun are being absorbed over the uh, west pacific western pacific ocean over the over the philippine sea and the uh, south china sea west philippine sea area and uh, that's why we are having some above average rainfall and uh, here over the central pacific it escapes quickly the outgoing the olr is escaping quickly that's why there are dry conditions here over the central and eastern pacific ocean and and uh, aside from the philippines look at the intense rainfall you observe you can see over the area of indonesia and northern uh, australia because of the uh, existing uh, la nina now let's take a look at the uh, latest uh, graph of the uh, uh, la nina uh, currently uh, we are uh, this is the latest one okay you should uh, december uh, 11 let's move this first and you can see here that we are currently at 82 percent uh, light or weak la nina this month of uh, december and by january this will uh, dramatically uh, decrease and come february we will be returning to neutral conditions so it will be just a two month uh, above average rainfall okay across the uh, country and then after that it will move back into neutral condition beginning uh, march and it will persist uh, until uh, likely uh, july of 2026 but we can uh, see some hint of a possible el nino it's the uh, uh, other side of la nina so if this happens we will be having below average rainfall for the uh, last quarter of 2026 so we are still observing this situation because this is uh, more than a uh, six months of uh, climate uh, forecast so uh, we should uh, be able to see this forecast coming more uh, certain when we uh, enter the month of june july of 2026 okay so that's the latest on the uh, la nina situation right now now let's take a look at the windy.com uh, wind and facial forecast courtesy of ecmwf this is the latest one until uh, thursday december 18 five day uh, forecast so far by tomorrow sunday we'll be having another blast or surge of the northeast monsoon this uh, cooler blast from the strong high pressure ridge over uh, eastern or central china uh, this northeast monsoon will again uh, be resurrected and moving down across extreme northern Luzon on Sunday, tomorrow. And on Monday, it will affect the eastern sections of Luzon, including the coastal waters of Bicol region and uh, eastern uh, Visayas as well. And on Tuesday, the northeast monsoon will start to weaken. And on Wednesday, it will return to uh, slightly uh, northeasterly or easterly uh, winds as the shear line will continue to affect our uh, region including the Cagayan Valley uh, area and then on Thursday we are just uh, experiencing some northeasterly wind flow so far that's the uh, forecast for the next uh, uh, five days and uh, for the uh, latest on Mm, that one model that shows a possible tropical cyclone formation this is the american model the ones that we call it as a fantasy model because on december 17 or 18 it shows here a very small tropical cyclone moving into the eastern coastal waters of eastern visayas and uh, big region december 2021 20, 22 it will recurve but that's only one model if we look at the european model there's nothing so we will not uh, concentrate on that one so still we are going to uh, uh, have some normal weather conditions so we will wait and see what will happen but uh, if the rest of the uh, global models doesn't show anything 
this uh, American model will uh, finally uh, weaken or remove this uh, potential system uh, next week. Okay, even the Google DeepMind doesn't show anything. Uh, we'll remove this uh, slider. There are only a few dots. So a few dots means nothing. Okay, so no need to be alarmed. So uh, just avoid watching those fake news on the uh, social media and YouTube channels, Facebook channels, Twitter. So there are lots of them, okay? Exaggerating the news. But again, it's only one model, so uh, just relax and uh, no need to be alarmed. And for the wave forecast, it looks like uh, for the next uh, five days, the wave heights over the West and East Philippine Sea will remain um, rough and dangerous to small sea vessels all the way until uh, December 18. Uh, wave heights of uh, more than three meters will be expected here as well as here. But if you are very close to the uh, coastal areas, it's gonna be uh, light, light to uh, slightly moderate. Just avoid moving into the deeper ocean since it's gonna be uh, uh, rough and dangerous to your fishing vessels. While here over the central waters of our country will remain uh, calm to uh, light waves, so suitable for fishing and sea travel for the next five days until December 18. Now for the latest on the global tropics hazards outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks in which the third week is highly uncertain, less than 25% probability. Now on week two, we begin on week two, valid December 17 to December 23. It looks like the Philippines will uh, particularly be called, besides in Mindanao, they say that we'll be having some above average rainfall probability of more than 50%. So most likely we will uh, be uh, continue to uh, be under normal conditions. While uh, on week 3, valid December 24 to 30th, this is uh, during Christmas time, it's still more than 50% uh, of above average rainfall. So most likely this is uh, under normal uh, conditions. Okay, there are shear lines, there are the return of the northeast monsoons, bring some showers, heavy rainfall if we have some shear line, okay? And localized thunderstorms because, because of easterlies. Uh, convective uh, thunderstorms over Mindanao because of the ongoing uh, weak La Nina, which is normal, okay? And for the uh, latest on the tropical cyclone uh, threat potential from Pagasa, uh, it shows here that uh, for week one, December 12 to 18, 2025, there's nothing. No uh, tropical cyclone formation. And on week 2, December 19 to 25, this is the one that the American model or GFS is uh, forecasting uh, formation of a cyclone. But again, Pagasa also says it's very low in probability. So the uh, TC threat potential is unlikely during the second week uh, forecast. So uh, there's no need to be alarmed. Let's enjoy our Christmas parties, our Christmas celebration, our Christmas holidays with our loved ones and friends. And uh, uh, I assure that uh, based on my gut feel, it's going to be a uh, TCLS Christmas holidays. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for this weekend of uh, December uh, 13, 14. And we will return again likely on Monday or Tuesday for another update. From Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. This is Mike Padua saying have a great uh, weekend. Advance Merry Christmas. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.